and that was Lexington Comic Con 2023. So sorry I didn't get a lot of footage. I had a ton of stuff going on. Um, I know that the crowd was big this year. I didn't really go up on the second floor to see how many actors were there, but I do plan on doing that a little bit next year. I know that Tom Kenny was there, a bunch of people there. Steve from Blue's Clues, he was awesome. So as, as we do at the end of every travel video, I'm gonna show you everything I got from the con. First up, because they got disorganized while I was traveling home, am I going to show you all the businesses, uh, the business cards that I got? So here's this one, Night Owl. There's their social media. Next up we have the Goblin Traders. Then we have Lone Wolf Accessories. Very cute business card. Here's the QR code on the back. Scan it if you'd like. We have Super Retro Land. There's their QR code as well for you all to scan. And there's the back. And these are most likely people that I bought, you know, cards from. And finally, Purple Plum. Now for the stuff that we actually got. I'm going to be coming out with a video later. I was able to find Chinese Pokemon cards. This is going to be from the Tag Team GX sets that came out. So it's Slowpoke and Psyduck. Um, gonna be five packs each. There was a random booster box of each that was setting out. I had to hold back from trying to buy a whole booster box, but uh, this will be some of the first Chinese cards we open on the channel, so it's going to be awesome. Next up, I got a Pokemon Go pin, and it is from Logan Arc, and here is their business card as well. They make some pretty cool, awesome pins. I saw a whole bunch of stuff, and I did include some of those pins in the video. So, the shop, I believe Bran Brian Adams. Very nice guy, I met him. There's the back of the card. I saw that he was actually selling one of the Evolving Skies cards that I needed, but it's in Japanese. I got the Glacium Alternative Art card, and he gave me a slab as well, Brock's Sand Shrew. Thank you so much, I greatly appreciate uh, the free slab. It's pretty awesome. Give his shop a look. Next up here are some of the loose cards that I bought. And I believe with the Chinese packs, I decided to go ahead and get the Ancient Mew. It's a promo card for Pokemon the first movie. I've been needing that. Next up, Ampharot GX with an awesome cityscape behind them. I finally was able to get Path to the Peak with the little Snom hiding in the background. We have Keldeo GX in Japanese. Manaphy EX, very pretty card with awesome colors. Same for Pidgeot V as well, very nice colors. And lastly, Matang, shiny. From Columbus Vintage Toys, I also was able to get the awesome semi, I think it's semi, semi sage, maybe? Semi sage, semi poor, semi seer. Semi seer, alternative art and the Mawile V with bead in the background. Now I believe these cards also came from the people that were selling these awesome travel Pokemon stickers. I did manage to get Squirtle, he's very cute, one of my favorite starters of all time. I also got Magnezone, V-Star Rainbow, love me some Magnezone, Wally, and Pokemon Ranger. And last but not least, I got this really cool Squirtle cord holder. He's gonna, he's a cord buddy, I believe that's what you call him. So, like I said, I really hope that you all enjoyed the video. I have a lot of travel videos coming in the future. I also, at the time, uh, while I was away, I passed up 500 subscribers on YouTube. I greatly appreciate the support, guys. And I've also announced the winners of the giveaway as well. So, here are the winners. Congratulations to you all. You will be getting your giveaway soon. And don't worry, I have a lot more giveaways coming soon. I really love to show my gratitude for you all subscribing to the channel and boosting me up. Greatly appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. But thank you all so much for watching. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. And I'll catch you all next time with another travel video and more time to open stuff. Until then, peace out. Bye.